Greetings all, Last Outrider here, and welcome to another Data Slate video. This time, we're going to bring you a special formation, but I'm going to let you guess who it is while I read the fluff. There is one whom the masters of the Dark Angels seek above all others. He is a being wrapped in shadow. An entity whose every move is cloaked in mystery. His motives and methods are themselves an enigma. Even the name or title by which he is known seem to conceal something. Although whether it is a metaphor or yet another conundrum is unknown, he is Cypher. And to the Dark Angels... He is nothing less than their most hated foe. As to whom or what Cypher truly is, none can say. Those who have witnessed him in action report that he wears but a simple ceremonial robes, much like many of the Dark Angels. Beneath his garment can be seen the thick plates of dark power armor, more damning still, however, is the fact that no matter where in the galaxy Cypher surfaces, it is only a matter of time before the Dark Angels, or one of their successor chapters, follow. The Dark Angels ask many questions, but give no answers themselves. Despite the constant search for Cypher, none have yet been successful in capturing or destroying him. Or so it would seem. The Dark Angels have considered Cypher destroyed on numerous occasions, yet he always returns. The Red Corsairs, still seething after they believe was their betrayal during the Escovan campaign, thought they had cornered the elusive Cypher on the Strike Cruiser Rapier. In the deep emptiness of space, they halted the rapier, and when they boarded, found only cultists. Before they were all slain, none of the cultists could verify the whereabouts of the mysterious space marine who had been in their midst. Nor could they tell how he escaped. <laughs> now, in my campaigns... I'm going to tell you how I worked out the history of Cypher. I have no idea what GW does, and I don't really care. I still play 40K like it's an RPG, okay? So I basically make my 40K universe. And I consider whatever people write in the novels to basically be that author's 40K universe. It's probably because since I've been playing since Road Trader, but... If you were playing in mine, the secret of Cypher is simple. He's Alpha Legion. What do you mean? Alpha Legion, during the Horus Heresy, was infiltrating all of the legions. Loyalists, heretics, whatever. That's their specialty. They go in, and they become other space marines. Hell, they almost assassinated, what, Gilliman. As a returning... Um... Ultramines, yeah, as a returning Ultramarine squad, when they met him, sitting in his own office, he had to kill ten of them. That's what they do. So then you could imagine, if Horus wanted to take down the Dark Angels, if they couldn't get the Lion to join, then at the very least, they could send an Alpha Legion to be the Fallen, basically, or to, to strike up some discord. So I believe Alpha Legion is really, is really behind the Fallen and behind Cypher. And that's why they can't catch him, because nobody's better at hiding and, and being weird than the Alpha Legion. And also, we know that the Alpha Legion never actually turned the chaos. In many ways, they're still a Loyalist Legion. The, uh, the Primarchs, uh, Alpharius and Omegon... They were recruited by the Cabal, the, the um, 
organization that basically sees to the long-term survival of the galaxy. And they basically determined that the emperor was uh, too dangerous. That while his plan to evolve humanity may work, it may also fail. And they just said, we don't want to take the chance. So guess what? Humanity, it has to go extinct. That's it. it, it, it we, we just have to wipe it out. You see, you got to look at further than, than the Imperium in 40K. you got to look at the span of millions of years, of which case the entire history of humanity is just, a, uh, you know, we don't think that's a good idea. Let's just cancel humanity. So they recruited Alpharius and Omegon, and they showed them the future, basically. They, they showed them present-day 40K, back during the Horus Heresy, where the emperor is worshipped as a god, and, every, and the entire Imperium, the, the, the morals, the, the ideology of the Imperium during the Great Crusade is totally destroyed, totally corrupted, backward society, and they said, wow, that looks, that looks horrible. Well, you basically have two choices. Humanity can either die slowly over 10, 15,000 years, or you can just kill it right now in the next 80 years. Because they said if Horus kills the emperor, he would never be able to run the Imperium. It would basically self-destruct, they said, within 100 years. So you have a choice, slow death or quick death. And the uh, Alpha Legion said, okay, we'll take the slow death. Obvious, I mean, the quick death. Obviously, they failed because 10,000 years around, uh, the Imperium is still there. But that's who I think they are. I think the Fallen and Cypher are Alpha Legion. I know. I just carried on a bit there. So let's get on back to the rules and the formation. If you want Cypher in, in your games, here's how you should play them. It's called Cypher's Fallen Champions. The faction is Chaos Space Marines. But if you're a Chaos player, you won't like it too much because here's why. The formation consists of Cypher, obviously, and one to three units of Chosen. You can do any outquip these Chosen any way you want with any war gear. A formation is considered a separate detachment from your main detachment, so they take up no force allocation charts, and it's not your ally detachment either. It's not that. You can have as many formations as you want. In this case, you can only have one of these because you can only have one cipher. So, <clears throat> when you take cipher and one to three units of chosen, these units ah, have certain restrictions. One, the units of chosen from this formation cannot take any chaos rewards, any chaos artifacts, and no marks of chaos, and finally, no dedicated transports. So you see what I mean? That's why I'm looking at Alpha Legion here, because they're chaos space marines, but they're not allowed to use anything from Chaos. So what do you get for if that? Okay, what are the advantages? Well, the first thing they get is that Cypher and these one to three units will all gain infiltrate ability. Which is really insane when you consider three units of, of Chosen can infiltrate. They also get two other special rules. Uh, fallen Leader. Yeah, another, another ironic, got it, Cypher, Fallen Leader, obviously. Any unit from this formation that is within 12 inches of Cypher must, not optional, must use his leadership characteristic instead of their own for any leadership tests. Is that awesome? Yes. What's the second special rule? And now, once again, if you don't think that they're Alpha Legion, this one will definitely make you think it. The next special rule that these three units of Chosen get, and Cypher, is the no, no fear 
they shall know no fear special rule. So yeah, if you're a Chaos player, here's your chance to get no no fear units. And finally, I don't, this is a special rule, but it doesn't help them. In missions that include both Cypher and Dark Angel models, all Dark Angel models with the Inner Circle special rule also receive the Zealot special rule. So there you go. Like I said, I think it's Alpha Legion. Just the sky pretending to be Dark Angels. But that's me. I hope you like it. And until next time, bye.